That was a defining moment, all right. And the definition was crap. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Sorry. Well, it's been a long week. It's Thursday, January 28th, and it's the day after Apple's uh, legendary release, quote unquote, of this new product line that they call the iPad. Color me disappointed. I gotta admit, it's my own fault because I, I built up in my mind this whole grandiose idea of what I felt an Apple product would have if it came out as a slate or a tablet PC. And, and you know, that's really not fair for Apple. I understand that they, you know, they have a lot of different people with a lot of different expectations. But this is my vlog! And I have expectations that I want to express. And I want to express why I felt those expectations were not met. So I've prepared a top five list, ranked in order of what I feel is importance, from five to one as to what I felt is, is really lacking in this latest offering from Apple. I own a Kindle, and I love my Kindle. I read all of my books on my Kindle. The thing I like about the Kindle is, one, the battery life is actually super. The, the battery life is absolutely incredible. And they have this concept called digital ink, which is this... It's a technology, and I'm not even going to pretend like I understand it. But what it does is it provides you a very similar uh, look and even kind of like almost a, a texture, a uh, perceivable texture, as to what you would get if you were reading a paperback or a, a, or a textbook. It's very well uh, able to be read in low light conditions and in sunlight. The concept of a reflective screen for backlit and, and, and backlit for, uh, for reading really doesn't appeal to me too much because I think that the, uh, the the problem is going to be eye strain and the problem is going to be a lot of uh, you know a, a lot of discomfort in long reading periods and I like to read so that to me is is a big deal. Okay, being a Kindle owner, I have an enormous library of digital books that I have amassed throughout my ownership life cycle of the Kindle. And I am pretty concerned about the fact that the books that I currently have on my Kindle are not of the same formats that would be acceptable to be used on this new iPad device. Now, I know that's really not Apple's fault. It's, it's more Amazon's fault because of the, the use of the proprietary uh, uh, format that they used for their digital books. But, come on, I mean, when you're releasing something that's supposed to be world-shattering and groundbreaking and truly awesome, don't you really want, you know, to, to work out a business deal or some sort of uh, uh, so, some sort of agreement with Amazon or maybe the publishers that I can have some form of standardized format uh, as well as a format that allows me to import books from Amazon? Now, maybe I'm being a little premature on this. Maybe they, they are working through that. And maybe I'm just oversimplifying the, simplifying the entire problem, but at the very least, we should be able to contact the publishers and say, hey, if I've purchased this book on Kindle, and I can prove that I've purchased this book on Kindle, I should be able to get either an upgrade or, or a direct transfer of the new format of that book to my iPad if I choose to buy it. Okay, Apple, I have a little secret for you. Adobe Flash is everywhere on the web. Now, I, I, I do not understand what the issue is with getting Flash on my iPhone, on my uh, on my iPad or on my iPod Touch. I, I don't get the concept, and maybe there is a technical hurdle that needs to be overcome. But give me a break, guys. I mean, how can you how can you provide a unit that's supposed to allow you a superb uh, internet browsing experience when you don't even support Flash. That basically eliminates maybe three quarters of the videos that I can actually watch online. Now, there are some sites like YouTube that actually compensate for this and, and do things a slightly different way uh, to compensate for the fact that that some of these devices do not have uh, flash enabled on them, but give me a break. Not, not everybody's going to be that sophisticated, and a lot of the sites that I'm going to want to go to, especially the media sites, are flash-based and they're multimedia, so get with the program and get flash on these devices. Now! Okay, this is an obvious one. You have got to be kidding me. This new groundbreaking device doesn't have a camera on it. You know, 
everything I own these days, everything I have, has a camera on it. I cannot believe that a 21st century, 2010 new platform that's going to be released by one of the leading companies in technology does not have a forward-facing camera on this baby. I mean, video conferencing, hello, it's a, it's a natural for this type of device. Okay, now my number one issue with the iPad is actually based upon, you know, kind of an assumption being made from what I've seen on the video. I have not actually used the device, nor have I, have I had the privilege of even seeing, being in the same room with the device, other than, uh, obviously, via my camera. Uh, I, I wanted to make sure that we understand that if we can't run more than one application at a time, like, kind of like the iPod Touch or the iPhone, that this device, you know, you can put iWork on it or whatever you want to do all day long. If you can't uh, move from one application to another while retaining the context of that application, this device is pretty much worthless. And, and I, I'm a little concerned about uh, the ability to, you know, lock down applications to, to, to where only one application can run at a given time. That to me is, is really short-sighted. And I'm hoping that before the release of the actual hardware, in late March through April, May, whatever, that uh, they actually provide an OS update that allows you to run more than one application at a time and switch between applications in a context-aware capability so that you actually have a better experience when you're moving from one thing to another. We are multitaskers. We multitask. That is what we do. The, the, the very nature of our absorption in technology indicates that we do in fact multitask. So it's a logical assumption that if we're going to multitask in the real world, that we're going to be multitasking on our digital devices. So allow us the ability to multitask, will you? Woo! So okay, my whining is done. Guys at Apple, I just want you to know that I still love you. I buy your products, and that is why I care. And that's why I'm expressing uh, the concerns that I have about this, this new iPad you know, product or uh, platform or whatever you want to call it. We need to put a little more time in this. I'll wait. I will wait. I will wait for the product. But get it right. Get it good like you always have. And get it into our hands with the capabilities that we want and need. And we will buy it. It's that simple. Couldn't be easier. For 2002 Amazon Kindle books that I do not want to rebuy for the Apple iPad. Okay, so I'm officially done ranting and raving about the iPad. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments. I look forward to uh, seeing some video responses as well. And have a great Thursday. Bye, guys. You know, after all that, I'm probably still going to buy one. Curse my need for all this latest and greatest technology. For 2002 Amazon Kindle books that I do not want to rebuy for the Apple iPad.